what is up capricorn welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new uh we're gonna be diving into another spicy read i am feeling really spicy today as you can tell i'm wearing red woot woot um i'm feeling really spicy today i'm about to do a reading for the next upcoming week that's when i'm being drawn to read so um we're just gonna dive in it's gonna be really intuitive <clears throat> another thing i'm going to be i'm thinking about starting a channel it's gonna be like talk show kind of vibes about relationships and things like that if you're interested in that type of content just put a message down below drop a i don't know an emoji drop a heart or drop a smiley face or something if you're interested in a spin-off channel of me doing relationships and things like that relationship advice well not advice but like facts and things that you can maybe work on kind of like a self-help channel if you're interested in that uh, definitely put something down in the comments, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get into this. I'm just gonna start with the energy surrounding the week and we're gonna see what's gonna come in for you. This could be love, it could be other. I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow. If you're new here, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. I am also open for personal readings and my Instagram and my email is down below. You can message me on either. So, Spirit, please show me clear after messages for Capricorn. What's the energy surrounding Capricorn in the up, the upcoming week? So today is Wednesday. Um, it could be today onwards. I was more so thinking, uh, sorry, today's Thursday. <laughs> uh, I was more so thinking Friday onwards, but yeah. So let's get into this. Spirit, please show me clear, accurate messages. What is the energy surrounding Capricorn spirit? Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Happy home, happy life, happy wife. Uh, your money could be looking good this week. You could be feeling abundant. Maybe you're spending a lot of time at home, just kind of hanging out. It looks like a lot of you time is coming up in this next seven days. Um, so caring for yourself, nurturing for yourself, doing things that you love to do or want to do. Someone also, if we're talking love, someone could be offering you commitment this week. Um, or wanting to move in together. Let's let's dive in and see what's going on here. For Capricorn, please, Spirit. What's the energy surrounding Capricorn in the, in the upcoming week, please, Spirit? Ooh, Eight of Wands. First card out. Yes. Eight of Wands. Fiery energy. Eight could be a significant number. Maybe the 8th of July, 8th month, August. I don't know. Eight could be significant, but eight of wands right here. This is Cupid's arrow, okay? There could be some passion, hot, steamy communication, uh, you name it, but something, something's got you fired up here, okay? So let's, let's dive a little bit deeper for Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, not necessarily so, um, but I do see some ambers of love here. Ooh, three cards fell. We got the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords, two Aces, bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. This is going to be a hot week for you, Capricorn. I can feel it in the air today, okay? Uh, it feels like this is going to be a hot week for you. Two of Cups, you may meet someone. Uh, this is for my singles, for sure. You're going to meet someone here. A two of Cups. You're going to meet someone here, and you guys are going to hit it off. If you've already met someone, here, as I'm talking, there's the Ace of wands that falls out i'm gonna keep that i'm gonna stop shuffling so these cards can stop falling out you could be dealing with a taurus a sagittarius we're looking at a cancer but we've got all the elements out here so whoever this person is they're well-rounded so if you just met someone you guys are hitting it off it's going well um if you are single this week this weekend you are going to be meeting someone great and by great i mean there is ace of swords ace of cups ace of wands two of cups eight of wands you guys are going to hit it off instantly this is going to be an instant attraction this is going to be like you are mine okay this person may want to spoil you may want to take you on an actual date like a real proper person proper people go on proper dates okay we don't just play around with guys who want to not take us on dates or girls whatever guys take guys take girls i'm traditional so guys take girls on dates but do what you want um <laughs> point is 
is that there's a new beginning here, 110%. There's a new beginning here. Somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to tell you sweet nothings in your ear that they are interested in you and that they are attracted to you. Here's the world and look at this. Look at this. Look what just slipped in my hands. There's a lot of energy. This is going to be a really exciting connection. This is not going to be dull. This is not going to be boring. This is going to be an exciting connection. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. So we've got the lovers as I'm shuffling. This stuff is just falling out as I'm shuffling, okay? We have the lovers, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the world, okay? So if you're traveling this weekend, you definitely could be meeting someone. Um, or this is just a new... This is a, this is a new... This is not only a new romance, this is a new chapter. This is for my singles. This reading is for my singles. This is a new chapter for you, Capricorn. Okay, I feel a lot of spicy, hot energy from someone who really wants to give you their time and attention, their energy, put in the effort. Uh, I feel like you're going to have a strong sexual attraction to one another because the two of cups is here. So this is how you guys are both feeling. You guys both have the eight of wands, the ace of swords, the ace of cups, the six of pentacles, the ace of wands, the lovers, the world, the knight of wands, and the eight of pentacles. This is both of you. This is dual action here, baby. Okay. So what I'm trying to say to you is, is that whoever it is that you're meeting this week, singles, whoever it is that you're meeting this week, this is going to light you on fire, okay? And I have a feeling it's gonna be this weekend. It's funny that I'm drawn to do this, this reading just before the weekend. You are going to meet somebody really, really, really compatible with you, okay? Intellectually, emotionally, sexually. And it's gonna be spicy. I, I feel like the two of you are not gonna be able to keep your hands off each other, like that's really what I'm getting here. Um, <clears throat> let's kinda, I wanna kinda take a look and see, like, show me this Eight of Wands. Okay, so hold on. I'm just going to give this a shuffle. We're going to start clarifying here, getting some more juicy details about this person. You're meeting someone new. Um, <clears throat> you're definitely meeting someone new this week, and I have a feeling that it's this weekend. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why, but something is a buzzing, okay? There's a, there's a huge... I don't know. I don't know if there was, like... I don't know if something happened with the moon last night or there were some planets realign, realigning or something. I don't know what happened last night, but I feel like the energy has really shifted for Capricorns. Like I really feel like we're in a new mood today. We're in a new energy. We're about to get whatever we want. We're about to get that bag. We're about to get that man. We're about to get that woman. We're about to get that, that house. We're about to get this whatever. It just feels like whatever you want right now is yours. You can have it. You can have it. Take it. Reach out and take it. Grab it. It's yours. Okay? So, as I stop shuffling, knock on the cards. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. This is a new person that has new emotion for you. This person's going to be overwhelmed by your beauty or if you're a man, if you're handsome, whatever. They're going to be overwhelmed by your features. They're going to be physically attracted to you and they're going to be emotionally open to you with the Ace of Cups, okay? And this person is not going to be afraid to tell you. This person's literally going to see you and say, hey, I want to take you out. Hey, let's go for a drink. Hey, I've been having these feelings for you. I finally want to tell you. Okay, so let's get a, let's see who this person is. Who is this person, Spirit? Who is this person coming towards Capricorn? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, and then we have the Knight of Swords, okay? So this person is coming in fast and has a lot to say here, okay? Then we have the Ace, sorry, uh, Queen of Pentacles. So this could be a Capricorn, could be an air sign as well. Um, but this person is, I feel like this person's very genuine. I feel like this person might be coming in a little hot and heavy, uh, trying to get your attention, <clears throat> but I do feel like this person, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I do feel like this person, look at this ace of sword. This person, this person wants to talk. This person has a lot. I feel like this person is just a talker. This person talks your face off. Here's the page of swords. This person thought, oh, <laughs> this person has thought a lot, has thought or will be thinking a lot prior to communicating with you. I feel like this person is definitely an intellectual, um, and that, I feel like that's kind of why you guys connect. When you guys actually meet or if you guys have already met, when you guys are together and you guys are talking, it's just like the conversation is flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing. 
Um, <clears throat> you guys are both very respectful of one another when you do speak. You understand each other's ideas. You guys kind of click on morality. You guys click on <clears throat> political stances. Sorry, let me take a sip of my coffee. Um, the two of you seem to have a lot in common. And not only do you two have a lot in common, you two are hot okay you guys are hot together you guys are hot for each other like you guys are very very physically attracted to one another and that is great and you guys are both open emotionally like i love that for you capricorn i want to clarify this eight of wands show me the eight of wands you're gonna feel like you were struck by lightning literally literally show me the eight of wands The Two of Swords, Nine of Cups, interesting, one more, yeah, look at this, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles on the Eighth, okay, so Eight is significant, it could be the Eighth Day, Eighth Day? of July or something or the 8th I don't know there's something here about the 8th nine of cups again at the bottom of the deck I feel like I feel like this is gonna be like a sneaky um start like and I don't mean in the sense that anyone's being sneaky I just mean like this 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 person is gonna catch you off guard like you're not even gonna see this arrow coming your way and then it's going to literally pierce you like literally um i feel like this is going to be an attraction it's almost like maybe you are only seeing maybe you're thinking that this person is only coming at you in a sexual sense or maybe that's how it starts you feel like this is just going to be about sex and then all of a sudden we have this eight of pentacles and ten of pentacles it's like now we're working we're continuing to carry on this connection we're continuing to entertain one another I want commitment. That's kind of how it's going. It's like you don't really see that there's more of an option other than just being physically intimate. Like you don't see the depth of this relationship of where it's going to go. There are even the nine of cups in, uh, of where it's going to go until like you're there almost. Like it, it, it feels sudden, instant, that type of energy. Okay, let me see... I want to see the Six of Pentacles. Show me the Six of Pentacles, Spirit. The Tower. Uh, I'm hearing Love Bomb. Yeah, Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. This is wild. Six of Pentacles, Tower, Six of Pentacles. This person may Love Bomb you a little bit. Now, I don't know if you're into that. Some people are. Some people aren't. But I feel like this person may Love Bomb you a little bit. And Love Bombing can be like a toxic thing. Um, but I don't necessarily think it's super toxic in this sense i think it's more of a person seeing what they want and like really doing whatever it takes to get them and also i feel like this person i feel like the two of you are kind of doing this this could be a, a mirror of you two again the two of cups is crowning i feel like the, this is a both of you like you guys are do, you could be dealing with a fellow capricorn because you guys look very similar like it's like the two of you are doing the same thing to each other because you guys both really like each other so then in between that six of pentacles we have the tower so Clarifying the Six of Pentacles is the Tower, and then we have the Six of Pentacles clarifying the Tower. Holy Toledo. So I'm kind of getting this energy of love bombing. The two of you could be love bombing each other, whether you two are into that or not. Uh, be careful, you guys don't go overboard with each other, but yeah, that's that's what I'm getting here. Let's see, um, let's see the world. Uh, you could travel somewhere and find this person. If for some reason it feels like this person though that you're dealing with has a sense of urgency like you guys kind of need to talk it out and make a decision what you're going to do with one another because there's some kind of pressure for time that's why i almost feel like you may be traveling and then before you leave you kind of figure out if you guys are going to continue this connection show me the world okay on the world we have the two of pentacles and then the five of pentacles yeah i feel like the two of you could be at a distance King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the two of you guys could be at a distance. Again, so when I asked about that person, they were coming with a sense of urgency with that Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. 
So the two of you could be living in different places. And you guys kind of have to decide what's going to go on. But there are two of you guys uh, part ways. Like you go home or whatever. Or maybe the other way around. Maybe this person's visiting your area. You don't have to go out of town necessarily. Maybe this person's coming in town. Um, but it seems like there's a bit of an imbalance here in terms of what's going to happen next. There's a lot of unknown... If the two of you guys are at a far, if you're not, hmm, let me get one more, one more on the world here. Oh, someone wants to take it slow. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Slow burn, slow burn energy. This might be you Capricorn. Uh, somebody in this situation does look, they're interested but someone's going to be cautious here and someone's going to want to move fast. And I think the person that's coming towards you is going to want to move a little bit faster than you. I feel like that whoever's coming towards you is fired the fuck up. You are like, I've mm, been there before. Want to make sure this is the right investment. Want to be happy. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of my time. I don't want to make any uh, hasty decisions. I'm going to stay over here and row this boat. And if it's meant to be, it will be indeed with the 10 of cups. Okay. Is there anything else? Is, is, there anything, is there anything else that Capricorn needs to know about this person? Sorry, I'm my, hand, my cards are slippery. Okay. Is there anything else that Capricorn needs to know about this person? Death. Okay. You have death, the hangman, and the six of pentacles. Queen of Cups. I'm going to leave the Queen of Cups up top. I want to clarify the Death card. Page. So ultimately there will be a disruption. will be a disruption here now that may be that may be I don't know what it is I don't know what it's in relation to though so for example like I feel like there's a little roadblock block here so if there so so for example if this person lives at a far you may meet them this weekend and then you guys make plan that person makes plans to come back next weekend but something happens where you guys kind of have to put the connection on hold for a second that person now can't come till the weekend after that's kind of but the person still comes like it's it's still ongoing they're still giving to this but there's some kind of something because we have the nine of wands perseverance page of pentacles so this is kind of like a bump in the road where you guys will have to kind of navigate what's going on. The one thing I want to say to you, Capricorn, is like, if it's like something minor where this person can't come see you now, or there's a change of plans, don't let that discourage you. Don't think it's because this person doesn't like you. That's definitely not the case. You guys are crazy about each other. I think this person may get caught up with work or there might be some something happening in their, their life. It could be even you. It's something happening in your life or their life that you kind of can't uh, do what you said you were going to do or promised you were going to do. Um, but that will sort itself out. I want to get... Okay, I'm going to get one more card. Any final messages? One more card. Any final messages here for Capricorn? Ace of Wands. Yeah. I, you need not worry. Um, you need not worry. This, I feel like this connection is going to go quite far here. But I do feel like there is going to be a bump in the road. Ace of Wands. This is this is definitely a really passionate connection that's coming in here. 
Okay, so if that resonates, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if it resonates with you and uh, leave me a comment if you're interested in the channel I was talking about earlier. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I'm wishing you guys all the best in your romantic future. Love and light.